Hey guys, it's Tammy. I've gotten a bunch of calls regarding the brochures and a problem with printing them out. So I'm going to go ahead and explain the situation of what happened and how you can quickly fix it. But initially what happened was uh, we came in one day and booted up the computer and there was a message on the computer saying, you know what, you're 10% into your uh, upgrade. I was like, oh my God. Who upgraded the computer? What, what's going on? And it was one of those things where it was a forced upgrade. And it took so long for the upgrade to happen. It was like two and a half hours for that upgrade to complete and finish. Anyway, after the upgrade was done, we noticed that some things were wrong with some of the different programs that we use. In particular, Microsoft Word. And that's actually how we make the brochures and how we print them out through that particular program. So we noticed that some of the brochures weren't printing all of a sudden. These brochures have been printing for years and now all of a sudden they don't. So let me pull one up to show you. We'll just go to brochures, which the regenerate. Where is it? Okay, I see it. Okay, so this is our stem cell brochure, the Regenerate brochure. Now, as you see, it's a, a, a tri-panel brochure, a tri-fold. So page one looks like this. So normally you just go to file, you go to print, we'll do page one. And we do have this message that pops up and you may see it too when you go to print out your brochures because a lot of times people, if they run out of brochures, what they'll do is just print them off at their own office, especially if they're private label. This way it has your own logo on it. But you might see this particular message too. It says, the margins of section one are outside the printable set of the, of the page. So it, that doesn't matter. We have always gotten that message and we've always hit yes and it's always printed, no problem, except after this last upgrade. So we hit yes and as you can see, nothing's going on. The printer normally just automatically kicks on and starts printing, but nothing. So I had to call Microsoft. I was on the phone with them for four hours. Now, every technician that I spoke to was in complete agreement with me. It was a problem with the software, but each person that I spoke to was just saying, I can't help you. I have to escalate your problem to another person and they can help you. I went through several different people, several different escalations, and there was never any resolution. Finally, the last girl that I spoke to, now I'm getting upset. I've been on the phone for four hours, you can't fix it, and they're unwilling to fix it. What they want you to do is buy their newest Microsoft Office suite, which is, it's quite expensive. I think it's like five or $600 for the different programs that we need, but I already purchased it just a couple of years ago, and that was a couple of hundred dollars. Why would I repurchase it again? Why would I do that? And she said to me, well, if you don't want to do that, you can go ahead and rent the software on an annual basis. Okay, so now I have a recurring annual fee because you did something wrong in your upgrade and you won't fix it. That's what you're saying. Oh no, it's your printer is the problem. Yeah, that's what it is. It's your printer. Okay, if it's my printer, then why am I going to buy a new program if it just won't work anyway it's, if it's the printer? She refused to do anything. They refused to help. The, the initial technicians were really nice. They were a bunch of great guys. This woman was just insanely rude and uh, didn't help me at all. So finally, she transfers my call to HP, which is the, the particular printer that we have, and it's a great printer. I mean, we do go through a lot of the different printers because we do print a lot of different things off these printers, especially the private label brochures. You can do a few hundred pages a day. So, um, and I, I got a very uneasy feeling from the guy that I spoke with at HP. And now we're talking about, it's like 10 o'clock at night because this all happened when we were getting ready to close at five o'clock. Well, I stayed late. This way I could fix it while office hours were not going on. This way I wouldn't be sitting at her desk and messing up her timetable. But uh, it, initially, before I even explained what the situation was, what the problem was, this guy wanted my credit card number right off the bat. What's my credit card number? That's never happened before. 
And, and I said to him, wait a minute, you want my credit card number? You're telling me you could fix it if I give you my credit card number, but you don't even know what the problem is yet. And how do you know you can fix it? And the printer, I, I think it's only, it was only six or eight months old at the time. Wouldn't that be covered under warranty? Because they do give you a one year manufacturer's warranty to cover any problem. Oh no, your problem isn't covered by warranty. I need your credit card number. I'm like, no, no. I didn't buy the package and I didn't give that guy my credit card number because I just got a very uneasy feeling about it. It, it was the first time that HP's ever asked me for a credit card number right up front right off the bat i just got a feeling that the guy was a bad actor and by the way hp if you're listening the guy's name or he said his name was john i'm sure it wasn't john so here's the big fix which i just kind of brainstormed all on my own it's a backdoor way of doing it but at least it works so what you want to do is go to file save as and instead of saving it as a Microsoft Word document, what you're going to do is save it as a PDF. Hit save. We'll just go to yes because it's already been saved. We've been printing it under that format. Go to print. We only want to print page one. It'll scroll through. Oh, and what's that? Yeah, that's the magical sound of the printer working because it was never the printer. It was always the software. So if Microsoft, if you're watching this video, I doubt that you are because I doubt you. This is a backdoor way of fixing your problem. So if you're having an issue fixing your uh, printing out your own brochures, I know it's a stinky way to sort of get around to, to do it. But at least if you're in a pinch and you do need the brochures, this is a, a way that you can definitely get to your brochures and print them out. This way you have some on hand. Okay, well, thank you for listening. I'm sorry I, this is a little longer than what I actually anticipated it to be, but uh, at least you know how to fix it. By the way, we'll be doing a podcast too. So as soon as we get that up off the ground and going, I'll let you know when the big launch is. And uh, we're going to call it Rejuve the Nation. That's good, right? I thought of that, right? <laughs> All right, guys, take care.